One of the main reasons there seems to be an exodus from different fields into the field of tech is because of the financial opportunities available. And you may be considering transitioning into tech and you're trying to figure out whether you really can get a six figure salary. So that's what we'll be discussing today, salaries. Most of us, especially those that are outside of the United States are exposed to huge salaries on YouTube. But those figures set a false expectation because those videos are of software engineers that are working at manga companies. Is it officially manga yet? Or well, I like to read manga, so I'm gonna go with manga but yeah these software engineers are working at manga companies and specifically within the United States those videos skew expectations and make people believe that those type of numbers are readily achievable regardless of where they are but a lot of people are going to be sorely disappointed when they find out that that isn't the case it may come as a surprise to you all that I'm actually from the United Kingdom and that I live in London. So after I was exposed to these huge numbers, I wanted to find out how much software engineers outside of the United States were getting paid, so I did some digging. In the world that we live in now, if a company isn't a tech company, it at the very least needs a tech department. It's just the way it goes. A lot of big tech companies don't just pay you a salary, they give you a package. And these packages usually consist of a base salary, a sign-on bonus, stocks, and sometimes even money to relocate. Crazy, I know. Before we start with the numbers, a disclaimer. Coding is a highly technical skill and greatly in demand. This means that software engineers get paid well, really, really well, all across the globe. I'm going to break this down by looking at the average salary of an entry-level software engineer in any given country versus the same role at Google in the same country. I'm also going to do the same with senior software engineers who typically have five or more years of experience. Now let's look at these numbers. I'm going to be mainly using levels.fyi, indeed.com, Glassdoor, and maybe some Reddit forums to extrapolate this data. Now I've tried my best to get you the most accurate numbers, but these numbers aren't set in stone. I'll also use American dollars because it's a global currency and everyone can get a feel of how much the salary is worth, no matter where they are. Without further ado, let's start with the United States, the home of tech where most tech companies were founded and where you'll find the most amount of funding for tech companies. In the United States, pay ranges all over the country, but you'll find the highest salaries in New York, Seattle, and of course, the Bay Area. And just as a side note, on average, a computer science graduate will be paid more than someone who self learned or went through a bootcamp. The average pay for an entry-level software engineer in the United States is around $75,000. Now, hold on to your hats, because if this is the first time you're hearing about big tech salaries in the United States, you may be blown away. Someone fresh out of a university or someone who's just graduated from a coding bootcamp can potentially earn over $190,000 US dollars as an entry-level software engineer at Google crazy crazy numbers i know it's why a lot of the industry wants to work at the big tech companies at senior level the pay does go up and in the united states a senior software engineer can make on average around 140,000 us dollars a senior software engineer at google though can make let, let me just get this right <laughs> 358,552 dollars crazy numbers. Next up is the UK and more specifically London where I'm based. London is the technological hub of the UK and it's where most of the big tech and fintech companies are based. Because of that the UK average will be lower than the London average but the cost of living in London is significantly higher. In the UK there's a real stigma with discussing salaries and it reflects on these websites that share salaries. On Indeed when looking at the average salary of an entry-level software engineer it was based off of a thousand reports made by people. For the whole of the UK, the average is based off of about 150 reports and more specifically for London, the tech hub of the whole UK, it's based off of 28 reports. Over here, we just do not talk about our salaries. With that being said, an entry-level software engineer in London can expect to make about $40,000 to $60,000. In Google London, the average salary of an entry-level software engineer is around $125,000. An average software engineer in London can expect to make around $85,000 to $100,000. And at Google, they make around $260,000 US dollars. Let's go to mainland Europe. In Germany, an average entry-level software engineer makes around $50,000. An entry-level Nugler makes about $124,000. An average senior software engineer in Germany makes around $70,000 to $80,000. But at Google, for the same role, 
They'll make a sweet $220,000. Next is the home of fondue and chocolate, Switzerland. Europeans that don't live in or know about Switzerland are going to be surprised by the numbers they're going to hear. An average entry level software engineer in Switzerland makes around eighty five dollars to $95,000. But at Google, an entry level software engineer makes around $180,000. An average senior software engineer in Switzerland makes around $125,000 to $135,000. But at Google, the same role will get you about $315,000. Now, those numbers are crazy. They're virtually the same amount of money that you would expect in the Bay Area. But the cost of living in Switzerland is notoriously high, especially compared to other European countries. But it's not that much higher than living in London. London needs to wake up. Let's go further east to Poland. In Poland, an entry level software engineer can expect to make around $20,000. But at Google, the same role will get you around $60,000. An average senior software engineer makes around forty dollars to $50,000. But at Google, they make around $120,000. You'll see a trend that the further east you go, the lower the salaries get, but the lower the cost of living is as well. Now let's move to India, the country that single-handedly carried computer science graduates all over the world throughout uni. An average entry level software engineer can expect to make around $6,000 to $7,000 in India. But at Google, an entry level software engineer can make around $45,000. An average senior software engineer in India makes around $20,000 to $25,000. But at Google, they make around $160,000. In India, the difference between the average software engineer pay versus the pay at a big tech company is significantly different. Let's go down under and check the salaries in Australia. An average entry level software engineer in Australia can expect to make around fifty to sixty thousand dollars and at Google they're making a hundred and ten thousand dollars. An average senior software engineer makes around eighty five to ninety five thousand dollars and at Google a senior software engineer makes over two hundred thousand dollars. It's clear why a lot of people dream of working at a big tech company because of the life changing money that they can offer. Software Software engineering roles are highly technical and highly in demand and the average software engineer role pays pretty well but big tech companies pay significantly more and in some countries sometimes they pay seven times more than the average software engineering role. Maybe you're looking to increase the amount of money you're making or maybe you're looking to work from a different country. Whatever your reasons, those were some of the salaries offered to software engineers across the world. Like I said before, I did my best to get you the most accurate data but those numbers are not set in stone. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Mohammed, and I'll see you guys in the next one inshallah.